Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be overviewing two markers. We are going to be looking at the Planet Eclipse Project G CS2 and the Planet Eclipse Project G3 CS3. And we're just gonna be taking a quick look at some of the milling differences and what you're getting when you're buying the Project G, which has been out for a couple of years now, and what you're getting when you buy the Project G3. So hopping right into it, we are going to look at the original Project G. This is my personal marker that I had recently got back from anodizing from Outlaw Anno. Shout out to Outlaw Anno, they did a killer job on my purple to black fade. So just looking at some of the milling guys, you can see here if the lighting will treat me well. We've got some horizontal striations here in the milling. Then running down the back of the marker, we have some linear lines following up to the feed neck and then the very nice rear cap, whereas it's kind of cinched at the waist, you got that hourglass figure and then it bottles up to the top of the cap there. So that is the Project G CS2 from Project guys. So we're gonna hop right into the G3 now. And boom, look at this beautiful jade with gold accents. I love this color combo, especially with the tan grips. It's just, just filthy. It shows really well. Like the lines on here show really well with that matte finish. So let's just take a quick little zoom in here. You guys can see some of the differences in the milling. We've got a couple more of these horizontal uh, striations in the milling. Whereas in the Project G, we've got a couple less. I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe six. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Might have one or two more striations here. And then looking at the back of the marker, we no longer have just linear lines running up to the feed neck. We've actually got these horizontal hatch marks as well, which is actually quite nice. The more I look at it, the more it's growing on me. And then we have the back bolt. Uh, it's a little different in the sense that the back bolt isn't narrow at the base of the grips and gets wider. It just kind of stays that same sizing throughout. Actually, it gets a little more narrow, if anything, at the top of the bolt cap. So we're gonna zoom out here and we're gonna compare the two markers side by side. If you guys don't know already, uh, more or less these markers, the only main difference is the milling. There is no actual enhanced features with the bolt or anything like that. It is strictly just milling aspects. So if you already know what comes with the CS3s and the CS2s, basically the only thing different you're getting here is the milling, guys. So don't confuse it saying, oh, it's a better bolt. It's better this, better that. No, it's just aesthetics. It's just milling preferences here, guys. So now that we have these both side by side, let's just take a quick zoom in here. And you guys can see basically, it's a little hard to tell, honestly. Let's face them the same way around here. You can kind of just see some of the differences in the milling. It's, it's very similar, it's very reminiscent from the original G, but like I said, I feel like there's a few more of these hatch marks here on the side versus the original G. It's a lot harder to pick up with the gloss finish. I'll give it that. And then there's the G3. And again, we'll just look at the top, the tops here. And then down to the feed neck. So I'm curious if you guys had the money and if money was not an option in this scenario, are you guys going with the G3 or are you going with the original Project G from Planet Eclipse? If you guys aren't already on the hype train with the Project G stuff and you're curious, can I still buy one, this and that? No, you cannot buy one brand new from the website currently. All these are sold out. These were limited runs. So if you wanna pick one up, you're gonna to have to find one on the used market. Now, when they came out with the Project Gs originally, there was only 200 of these bad boys made. 
So these are pretty limited. These are actually one of the more limited numbers of the runs that they did. They also only did 200 of the LV2s. So that's something to note, guys. There's only 200 of these bad boys. Now, when they came out with the G3s due to popular demand, they made two runs of 200. So 400 of these are in the wild in total. Now, one more time, guys. There's 200 Project Gs and there are 400 Project G3s out there. Hopefully that irons out some of the details that I might have missed in the video, guys. As always, hopefully you enjoyed. Hit that like button and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next video.